What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, we're gonna be adding some retro overlays to our classic ROMs inside of RetroArch. If you guys don't know what these overlays are, they basically make the game look more realistic. They make it look like how it was back on the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, basically whatever game you're playing. And they also add a border of the console. So let's say you're playing Game Boy Advance, that is what I'm gonna use in this video. It's gonna add a nice Game Boy Advance border, basically where the um, black area is on your PS Vita. And it's also going to make the screen look more like a Game Boy Advance screen. Now the cool thing about these bezels and um, overlays, whatever you want to call them, the cool thing about them is they're actually PNG files, which means you can pretty much edit them and change the colors and stuff like that. It's very easy to do over on your computer. And yeah, we're going to do this. I'm going to use it with the Game Boy Advance and you must have RetroArch to do this. Um, so what I'm going to do first on my PS Vita, if you've got RetroArch open, I'd recommend just closing out of it for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we are going to open up Vita to shell we need to connect our PS Vita to our computer in order to install these overlays so what we're going to do is we're going to press select we're going to go and connect it and I will show you guys what we can do from there so from here it's actually pretty simple what you guys want to do is go to the link in the description of this video and it's going to bring you guys over to GBA temp and this guy right here has actually created some overlays for the PS Vita now I don't know if these work on the PS TV as it said it's for a screen definition of 960 by 544 and that is quite small so it's fine for the PS Vita 1000 and the PS Vita 2000 keep in mind that quite a few people are saying it does have this kind of like screen burn um, if you have the OLED screen which is the PS Vita 1000. For me I've been using it and I haven't really noticed anything. Um, I guess as long as you don't use it for a long time it shouldn't matter too much. But what you guys want to do is scroll down and there will be two download links. So we've got this version. This version does not have the overlays as basically says NOFRM in it and then this version has the overlays. So what you want to do is just get this version right here. We're just going to click on it and simply just wait for it to download and once it's done we can go to our downloads folder. Before we go to our downloads folder, there is also screenshots right here of all of the overlays. And as you guys can see, they are actually pretty cool. Um, as I showed you guys before, what it pretty much does is make it look basic, make it look how it would on like the real device. Now, I know some people are a massive fan of this. For me, it doesn't really bother me too much, but it does look quite good. And I will be using the Game Boy Advance in this video. Okay guys, so in my downloads folder, we have now got their overlay pack. So all you guys wanna do is double click on the zip file and you can go ahead and open it. And and you can just leave it open like this. Then what you want to do is go onto your PS Vita. We're going to go into the data folder. We are going to locate the RetroArch folder. So just double click on this one. And then you just want to open up that zip file again. Double click to go into the RetroArch folder on the zip file. And we're going to select everything in here and drag and drop it across. Next thing to keep in mind is if you replace the configuration file, it's going to update it. So if you've saved any configurations like themes and different settings, um, it will actually replace them. So just keep that in mind as I said before not everyone would want to try this um, so make sure to back up your own one if you just want to try it and see what it's like but I don't need mine so what I'm going to do is just drag and drop all of these files and once it's finished copying some across it's going to actually ask you to replace some files so we're just going to go ahead and do that let's just wait for everything to copy across and once it's done we can go back onto our PS Vita and we can check out these bezels or overlays whatever you want to call them Okay guys, so once we are back, all we have to do from here is literally just open up RetroArch. It should be as easy as that. And then I'm going to show you guys the difference. So I'm going to show you guys without the overlay and then, um, you know, with the overlay. As I said, I'm going to use it with Game Boy Advance in this video, but you can use it with Game Boy Color, Game Boy, basically all of the overlays that came in the pack. And I'm pretty sure you can even find more online. As you guys notice, the main menu is going to look a bit different. That is because we replaced the config file. So if you had a previous theme and stuff, Stuff like that um, I would recommend keeping your old one or you can always just install it again but what we're gonna do we're gonna go into load content let's just go into the UXO if you guys are having any problems with this I'd recommend leaving your ROMs inside of the ROMs folder and that's pretty much just what it said in the guide but let's go into Game Boy Advance let's go into Pokemon Ruby I think that's why I was playing earlier so let's go and start this one and basically just choose any emulator GPSP that's an okay one also VBA next that one's okay as well but let's just go and press circle to start this up and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like without and then what it looks like with. 
So here we are guys, Pokemon Ruby without the um, overlay. And as you can see, it looks pretty good, you know, it looks fine, it's completely playable. Now if you guys want to access the overlay settings, what you actually have to do is press select and start at the same time. Sometimes if you're lucky you can like click them both um, in you know the same finger but what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we just want to go on to on screen overlay and we're going to press the circle button on this. Now it might be turned off by default I'm not 100% sure but you just want to go ahead and turn it on then you want to scroll down and you want to find where it says overlay preset. From here you're going to press circle and you're going to choose the overlay which matches your emulator. Now I'm using Game Boy Advance so I'm looking for GBA and I'm going to choose a um, um, 3x um, version 1. So what I'm going to do is press circle. It's going to save it. As you can see it just applied it there. We're going to press X to go back. I scroll all the way to the top and we're going to press in circle to resume game. And as you can see I've now got an overlay and it's kind of got the classic Game Boy Advance pixels on. Now how they've done this, they've just literally overlaid like a PNG file on it. Like I said earlier in the video, if you guys were to open these with paint.net you would actually be able to like, you know, improve it, make it different. But this looks really really like the original Game Boy Advance and it's pretty cool and as you guys can see by the video it's very easy to install these overlays and they are pretty good um, so yeah you guys might not be able to notice the pixels maybe I'll zoom you guys in a bit okay so I've zoomed you guys in you guys might be able to notice the difference what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it and then I'm gonna switch it um, so this is running the Game Boy Advance overlay and I'm gonna switch it right now and then this is without it so I don't know if you guys notice the difference there for me I can notice the difference but I'm not sure what it's coming up like on camera and but obviously you can test it out for yourself on your own PS Vita so here it is with the Game Boy Color as well now for me it seems to be a bit like overlapped a bit I'm not quite sure why it's done that um, but it does look like it does on the Game Boy Color it is quite realistic and then we've got Harry Potter running here so there you go that is pretty much it for this video that is how you get overlays on the PS Vita um, obviously you can customize them on your computer that is definitely recommended just to get them to fit perfectly um, for your Vita and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.